Hi, I am Dr. Ruma Sinha, Honorary Professor, Apollo Hospitals, Laparoscopic and Robotic Surgeon. Today we are going to talk about a common problem that women face and that is yeast infection or fungal infection of vagina. What is yeast infection? Yeast infection or fungal infection as we call it is a discharge that one can have from vagina. It is commonly caused by a organism or a culprit as you may call it by called Candida albicans. These are normal commensals in your vagina and can at some time become more infective and start giving you the discharge that you face. What are signs and symptoms of yeast infection? Yeast infection or fungal infection of vagina can give symptoms like irritation, discharge, burning in urine which is usually towards the end of passing urine or a strange or very intense itching that you can face. When you notice this discharge is not watery but it is almost curd like. What are the causes and risk factors of yeast infection? The cause of yeast infection is one organism and that's a fungal organism called as Candida albicans. As I mentioned it is normally present in everybody's vagina but when the risk factors are present this infection can become more and present as a disease or a symptom or a discomfort to you. And the risk factors could be presence of diabetes which causes increased infection, lack of the common protective mechanism in your vagina where which is which means lack of the lactobacillus, obesity, patients who have immunocompromised, patients who are on antibiotics. These are the risk factors or these are the situations when this little fungal that is normally present in your vagina becomes so big or becomes so much that it starts giving you a discharge and you start suffering from it. How do you prevent yeast infection? Yeast infection can be prevented by taking care of the risk factors that are there. As I said, the candida which causes the yeast infection is already present in everybody's vagina. But when the balance between the yeast infection and the lactobacillus is changed, the yeast infections becomes more and you start having symptoms not doing any kind of douching, using a lot of feminine products, keeping your undergarments cool, cotton, not wet. Keeping that area warm and dry will prevent the yeast infection from becoming more. The other factors that you can take care of is your obesity. So if you are obese, make sure you lose weight. If you are diabetic, control your diabetes. Any antibiotics at that time, there is a risk that you may develop more yeast infection. So cut down the antibiotics if it's not necessary. Or if you're an immunocompromised patient, then your immunocompromised drugs itself will predispose. So the minimum amount of drugs you take, the less chance of these yeast infections troubling you more. What are complicated yeast infections? Well, complicated yeast infections basically means an yeast infection which is not getting cured. And in that, a recurrent yeast infection or recurrent fungal infection is one of the commonest problems that women suffer from. And we say a recurrent infection when you get these infections more than four episodes in a year. It is possible that the yeast infection was not completely cured by the first line of treatment that you took or it has recurred after it being treated once we had given you the medication. When such a situation occurs, we need to draw up a long plan to keep the patients on some kind of maintenance therapy for some time so that the yeast infection is completely cured. What are the treatment options available for fungal infection? The fungal infection that one suffers in the, as a form of vaginitis can be treated by medication both orally as well as topically which means a local application. The oral medications are usually antifungal drugs which we give to control the fungal infection and the topical medications are in forms of either pessaries or ointments which one can apply at the level of vagina which will cure the infection as well as give temporarily symptomatic relief. But one must remember that these medications should not be taken presumably that you are having a vaginal infection by just over-the-counter medications. I find many times women come to my office where they have treated themselves with fung for fungal infection but they actually have some other infection. When to consult a gynecologist? In terms of suffering from vaginal infection, if your vaginal infection has any bad odor, that is smell, intense itching or any blood mixed with it, 
you must consult a gynecologist because it could be a yeast infection but it could be a hallmark of any other disease number 1 it could be any other type of infection which the yeast infection medication will not take care it could be a, a, a sign of a more sinister problem like a cancer so one must take care and if the vaginal infection is not getting cured is not getting better in few days one must see a gynecologist because without examining you we cannot conclude what type of infection you are suffering from so thank you for listening today namaste